All right, we're back. We're gonna finish this level, and then we got one more part of the Sky World, and then it's on to the last fortress. Easy does it. Oh yeah, tricky dicky. All right, what's in this store? More goddamn bats. All right, clear those fuckers out. How many hammers did I have? To okay, 18. My water barrel's almost full. I just fucked up another little Metroid sperm thing. We're doing good. We're doing good. Ooh, another door. All right. Yes! The last one! That's all eight. Water barrel's almost full. I've got all the weapons. Oh man, I am blowing through this run. Oh shh. And then I do something stupid like that. Oh well, no biggie. Oh, you little Metroid fucks. Oh. Even though it's easier than the original, it's still got some tricky dicky platforming bits. And that moon faced motherfucker. How am I supposed to get that? I can't jump while squatting. <sighs> I wasted a hammer. Wow, I didn't have much longer to go when I stopped the video, but like I said, I like recording in half-hour chunks and or less and chopping up that video into two, keep it under 15 minutes or so. Something easily digestible that doesn't look too daunting in its length for guys just getting back from work or just getting out of class and shit. Any hidden shit? Guess not. Well, then again... All I really need is a little life. I'm, I'm good on stuff for my water barrel, got all the weapons. Uh, they can go through the doors, but I can't. I get that? Nope. Oh well. Grab it now. Well, we're good. I didn't even need the credit card, really. Anyway, I think only the black market lets you use the damn credit card anyway. I'm gonna jump around and... <sighs> Grab that one. Use the money now, because the end game is coming. We got the most complex fortress yet. And of course, the fight with Orcos and the approach to his domain. And yeah, it's not, it doesn't become a shmup like the original Kid Icarus did. I need to play Uprising and see how the reboot treated Pit and Palutena. Risk point, well, f fuck that. I, I got pretty much full life. Oh! Why the hell did I jump again? Yeah, that's another reason why, I just since I won't be able to get a Switch anytime soon and play the new Smash, just another motivation to get that. Smash for Wii U, because Palutina is damn sexy in that game. In her reboot version. I mean, she looks cute in the instruction booklet for this, but damn, her new get up. Alright. Extra hammer, thank you. Oh, great, I can't even touch them. Get close without... Oh, 
Oh, it gives you water of life if you already have the credit card. But damn it! I already got the last one! Alright, what's in this store? Another shop? Black market? It's probably the guy that gives you the power-up arrows and shit. Well, I ain't getting no more of those. I, mean, I, you could, I bet people were speculating back then about shit you could do in this skit. Like, like, we're always speculating, I remember, what if you could get, like, to level 9 of attack or health in, in Zelda 2. Ow. I remember one guy in school, Russell, I think he's one, the one who told me about walking through walls in the second quest of the original Zelda, but then he tried to feed me some bullshit about Zelda 2, it's like, you could find a sound called the second mirror that would make your sword zaps go all the way across the screen. He pointed out that there was this one, looked like there was one unfilled item slot. Oh great, how do I get down there? I think I see what I have to do. Crap. I need that feather up there. Get rid of you early, though. Ah! Alright, this better be worth it. Use this other one. Ascend, spread my wings and fly. I think he probably needed to get here too. <sighs> Go away. Don't need any of that black market bullshit. Thanks for the extra hammer, so... In fact, I'm gonna use them right... Oh! Plenty of extra hammers now, thank you. It's like, how many do I- Oh, more than enough. Oh, the Magooses, they don't stop. And nothing. Assholes. Someone drop some health for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not a single one dropped a little health. I could have used that. I'm gonna have to break. Seriously, I'm gonna have to risk jumping across this. Okay, I made it. Didn't look like I could at first, though. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. And somehow I fall in it anyway. 
Oh, I can't fire while I'm on the cloud. I still gotta deal with you asshole snakes. That's it. Stage 3-3 three, three is done. We have a drink of water and... Save the shit. Oh boy. Here comes the fun part. Oh, we get different overworld... I mean, fortress music this time, though. These fuzz buckets are easier to deal with now. Oh. Snakes and spiders. Maybe we'll make a special brew of snake and spiders too! Mm. Still probably the best stamp stop motion movie ever. Though Kubo and the Two Strings was pretty boss. Which is why I went to see Bumblebee, the early screening. All right, got the map. Uh, which way to go now? Remember, I think one of the other things I need is this way. Oh, hot spring. So yeah, Bumblebee. A movie that everyone agrees. Critics, fans alike. A Transformers film that's good. I mean, I mean, if you go by Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, it's like, was what, 57% for both Bay's original and the 86 original? Oh, there's some, gotta be something good here. Alright, I got the pencil. What's in that one? It can't be the other thing, can it? Oh! You son of a bitch. Okay, I think I need to... I think I'm missing something. Yeah. I think I gotta go back a little for the last thing. The... Okay, I got the pencil. I also need the torch. I started. And like I said all three items are relatively close to where you start, so there it is. Now I just gotta remember where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Oh boy. Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. <sighs> 